Hello and welcome to Oshawa, Ontario. Today we're riding with Go Transit, Toronto's commuter rail provider, from here down to Toronto Union Station. Our journey begins at Oshawa's Durham College Station, which serves both Go Transit commuter rail and via corridor inner city trains. Although on the smaller side of stations, Oshawa Station is one of the most recent to receive a major overhaul. As a part of the 2017 revitalization program, the station received an entirely new main building, a pedestrian bridge to the Via Rail platforms, and a few other quality of life changes. Inside the modern main building are two new ticketing desks, one for Go and one for Via, plenty of seats for waiting passengers, and two spacious bathrooms. Though the station is new and the amenities updated, the most important passenger amenity is actually found outside, and that is the Tim Horton stall. Why it's a stall and not actually a part of the station building, I have no idea, but it's exactly what I need to keep my day going. Tickets on Go Transit can be purchased from one of the many ticketing kiosks around the station or online via the Go app. Alternatively, passengers can pay their fare using either a Presto card or directly by tapping a debit or credit card. Just beyond the tap-on points are the GO platforms and our train, GO Transit Lakeshore East Train 9015. On the rear of Train 9015 is Locomotive 609, one of GO's many MPI MP40PH-3Cs. Beyond our locomotive is a train of Bombardier bi-level coaches, 12 to be exact. GO Transit easily holds the crown for the highest capacity commuter trains in North America, with room for approximately 1,800 seated passengers and many more standing. As we walk the train, we find a variety of different bi-level types, ranging from the first bi-level 1 all the way to the newest Series 9 coaches. There's also two different liveries dotted throughout. The original is the two-tone green and white, similar to the livery on our locomotive. The lighter four-color cars are the new livery, with all of Go's fleet set to follow suit in the near future. About halfway down the train, we find car 4156, one of Go's newer bi-level 9 coaches, and can climb aboard. Finding a seat on the upper level, the doors close and our train departs towards Serrano. As we head out of Oshawa, let's take a look at our route on Go's Lakeshore East Line. Our commute begins heading west out of Oshawa and past Go Transit's Whitby Maintenance Facility. The tracks stay parallel to Highway 401, running adjacent to but separate from the Via Main Line. The Via and Go tracks merge west of Pickering, the line then brushing against the coast of Lake Ontario through Port Union. It's then back inland through Scarborough and East Toronto, pulling to a stop at Toronto's Union Station. We'll cover a total of 32 miles on our ride today, with a travel time of one hour and one minute. Departing Oshawa, we cruise past Go Transit's Whitby Maintenance Facility. Whitby Yard is Go's newest and largest maintenance facility. At 4,600 square meters or 500,000 square feet, the facility has space for 11 coach and 12 locomotive maintenance bays, two washing stations, and storage for 13 trains. The interiors of these new Series 9 bi-level coaches are fantastic. Go's bi-level fleet is operated almost exclusively in groups of four, though there are some single seats on the lower level. Each group offers around a foot of space between one's legs and the next row. It's plenty of space for one person, but may require some leg interlocking should two adults want to sit across from one another. Beneath each row is a ton of space for personal belongings or to stretch out. This extra storage space is almost a requirement as Bombardier bi-levels do not include overhead luggage racks. The physical seating is very comfortable for a commuter train. The upholstery has held up extremely well through its first years of service. Each seat includes a winged leather headrest, below which is a smart-looking seat maquette with a Go Transit logo motif. Between each row are plastic dividers, a remnant of the pandemic. Go Transit no longer requires passengers to wear a mask, but these partitions have yet to be removed. Although the dividers aren't strictly required anymore, it's actually a nice addition as it cleanly divides each row into two compartments of personal space. 
Each row also offers two outlets and two USB ports, making it easy to stay charged while on board. The quick station stops come and go, our train picking up more and more passengers as we approach Toronto. Posted on the windows are signs about Go Plus, Go Transit's free onboard Wi-Fi. Connecting to the network is easy. After joining, we're brought to the Go portal and we're online only a few clicks later. Go offers a selection of movies and TV shows, much like an airline's in-flight entertainment offerings. The actual Wi-Fi speeds aren't great. A quick network test reveals speeds of around 0.85 megabits per second. At those speeds, you're really better off sticking to your cell connection. If you're enjoying our ride on Go Transit, why not hit that subscribe button? It's totally free and it really helps support the channel. I also want to give a huge shout out and thank you to my patrons and channel members. Y'all are amazing and I cannot thank you enough for your incredible support. If you too want your name in the video or just want to support the channel in more ways than one, then head on over to the links in the description below. Lake Ontario appears just beyond our window, the Great Lake our guide for the next two and a half miles. The lower level of Go's bi-levels is fairly similar to the upper level, with many groups of four. Near the boarding doors are two fold-down seats for passengers with disabilities, plus a single row of three seats beneath the stairs. On the opposite end of the coach is the bathroom. accessible facility, the bathroom on our bi-level is very spacious. It's also incredibly clean and looks practically brand new. I know these coaches are the newest in Ghost fleet, but this bathroom still looks immaculate. Both the automatic sink and soap dispenser work well, though there are no paper towels in the dispenser. Instead, an electric hand dryer is built into the far wall for a greener alternative. Though the facilities are fairly standard, the age and cleanliness of this bathroom makes it stand out as one of the best on the rails, and I really expected nothing less from one of North America's premier commuter rail services. It's been a while since we last looked at some stats for nerds, so why don't we go ahead and bring it back? Taking us to Toronto this morning is Go Transit Lakeshore East Train 9015, and is driven by MPI MP36PH-3C locomotive number 609. Each MP36PH is powered by one of EMD's 645V16 engines, producing 3,600 horsepower. Each locomotive is rated for a top speed of 102 miles per hour, though track speeds and frequent stops limit us to around 79 on today's journey. Go consists vary in length, with trains maxing out at 12 cars and one locomotive. Within each train are a variety of Bombardier bi-levels, with train 9015 including cars from series 1, 4, 5, 7, 8, and 9. The newest of these are the series 9. Go's orders of the series 9 began in 2015, starting with cab cars 300 to 366, followed by coaches 4000 to 4054. In total, Go owns and operates 81 Series 9 cab cars and 260 coaches for a total of 341 Series 9 cars. On the outskirts of Toronto City Centre is Go's Don Yard. One of the largest in Go's network, the layover facility includes enough track to store 10 trains. We're approaching the end of the morning peak, so many of the tracks are filled with waiting trains, most of whom will return to service in a few hours' time. Not three minutes later, the towers of downtown Toronto rise high above the tracks, our train pulling to a stop at Toronto's Union Station. Grabbing our bags, we can follow the crowd of people off the train and out into Toronto. Up front, we find Cab Car 302, yet another Series 9 bi-level and the third cab car to enter service back in 2015. 
Toronto may be the end of the line for us, but not for Train 9015. Once arriving in Toronto, Lakeshore East Train 9015 becomes Lakeshore West Train 1015 with a final destination of Aldershot. Also, if you ever find yourself on the west end of the platforms in Toronto, take a walk out beyond the train shed for a truly fantastic view of the CN Tower. In the foreground is one of the Union Pearson Express's Nippon Shario DMUs. Linking downtown with Toronto Pearson International Airport, the UP Express is a vital rail link for arriving and departing passengers, and of course we'll have a look at that service in a future video. The clock hits 11.17 and train 10.15 once train 90.15 pulls out of Toronto. With our train now gone, we can take one last look around the platforms before heading down into Union Station. Following the signs, we enter the York Concourse. York is one of two concourses at Union Station serving GO Transit. Opened in 2015, the concourse features plenty of waiting areas, ticket machines, and retailers for waiting passengers. The York Concourse also houses the Station Food Court on the lower level. York's sister concourse, the Bay Concourse, is the most recently renovated and opened in 2021. The enhanced Bay and York Concourses help improve the travel experience by improving track access while creating a comfortable and convenient waiting space for commuter rail passengers. With our look at Toronto's commuter concourses and GO Transit complete, it's time to bring today's video to a close. Next week, we'll be back in the UK to ride with Grand Central in first class from Doncaster to London King's Cross. If you're new around here, I would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button down below. It's totally free, and it really helps support the channel. If you want to go the extra mile with your support, then check out the channel's Patreon or become a channel member. If you too want your name in the video or just want to support the channel in more ways than one, then head on over to the links in the description below. But anyways, that's all I have for today. Thanks for riding with me, and I'll see you in the next one.